My name is Bernhard and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Buzu. Uh, we are one of the world's leading platform for language learning. Um, our purpose is to empower people through languages and we do that by providing people with the best balance between learning and then actually practicing their skills throughout our community. We have a highly active community of language learners around the world where you can exchange your skills and directly learn from others as well. Um, we started the business about um, 14 years ago and we provide the solution not only for our consumers but we also have a B2B business where we have large companies who use Buzo to train their employees. I always have learned uh, several languages throughout my, my life and um, for me learning another language allows you to kind of live another life. So I speak Spanish, I speak Portuguese, German and, and English, I lived in Latin America and another language really opens another door into a different world. I think being an entrepreneur um, just allows you to realize your dreams. Um, for me, it's super important to have a positive impact uh, in the world and we as Buzo, we empower people through languages. We know that people have dreams that they can only unlock if they speak other languages. Let it be progressing in their career, let it be finishing your studies or connecting with your family. And we allow people to, to achieve those, those dreams. And that's for me as an entrepreneur, it's, it's wonderful that you, know, you have a dream, which in our case, to empower people through languages, to create a platform that allows people to learn languages and we have a positive impact uh, on millions of people around the world. And the other positive impact uh, or element of being an entrepreneur is that you uh, end up working with amazing teams. Um, you know, I've seen people grow so much over the years. I have seen people then ending up founding their own businesses afterwards and it's just fantastic to, to um, do this journey together. I think some of the challenges of being an entrepreneur is that uh, the line between success and failure is quite thin um, and over the years we had to overcome all sorts of uh, challenges and difficulties and so you to a certain extent always living on the edge a little bit as an entrepreneur um, and it's sometimes quite stressful and very time consuming um, but I've learned over the years to just uh, embrace the struggle and make sure that I, I make the best out of this journey. Yeah, we have had a relationship with uh, GP Bullhound for many, many years. Um, they're obviously quite a known firm in the technology space and we had been in the past been approached by potential acquirers and at a certain point we engaged with uh, GP Bullhound to support us in the process. Um, equally, I was invited to the um, GP Bullhound Summit in Marbella where I happened to won the, the startup events there and got to know the team also better. Um, then actually um, during COVID, um, our numbers started to soar because millions of people around the world were looking to make something useful with the time they had at their hands and they started to learn a language. So our numbers really started to accelerate and then Pear from GP Bullhound reached out because obviously he has a good sense for business and he was asking how things are going and after a couple of conversations uh, we realized that there might be potentially an uh, investment opportunity for, for GP Bullhound. So then um, GP Bullhound joined as an investor, Pear joined as a board advisor um, which was incredibly helpful to get his strategic insights. Um, and then fasting forward, we then uh, again were uh, um, approached by a strategic uh, acquirer and we retained um, GP Bullhound to help us um, through this process and brought it then basically to a successful exit uh, where we sold the company to Jack, a uh, listed company from the US. Well, personally, I'm, I'm simply incredibly passionate about education um, because I know also from my own experience that education can just change people's lives. Uh, and the way education has happened in the past was still relatively old school and not much innovation had happened over, over many, many years. And hence now with platforms like Busu, where we can accelerate how long it takes to learn another language, where we can use AI um, to 
generate personalized learning path. There's like huge opportunities to allow people to just achieve the learning goals much faster. And in our case, uh, language learning is a you know, $17 billion market. It's um, foreseen to triple in the next couple of years. So there's a huge business opportunity. And with now being part of a large listed company like Check, it allows us to just accelerate our growth and reach many, many more users in the world. Yeah, the one language I would have loved to learn is the, actually the Buzu language, because Buzu has its name from a nearly extinct language from Cameroon, spoken by only eight people. And uh, we actually, in fact, sent the film team to Cameroon to find these uh, eight native speakers a couple of years ago, and then we recorded together with the linguists uh, some of the phrases. So there's a little bit of Buzu that you can learn on the, on the website as well, but uh, you know, maybe one day, if I have a bit more time, I can double down a bit more on my Buzu skills. Mm -hmm.